EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Martitur with your outlook for May 10th, 2022. It is Tuesday, and Tuesday's video forecast is sponsored by J. Evans Property Services, serving York, Lancaster, Chester, Berks, Lebanon, and Southern Dauphin counties in Pennsylvania, and also Northern Maryland. Spring is here, and the growing season is now upon us. If you're looking for quality work at competitive prices from a family-owned business, J. Evans Property Services is the way to go. They offer premium landscaping and design, sod install, drain solutions, as well as residential and commercial complete property maintenance. You can call or text to the phone number above me here in the video or schedule an estimate through their website, landscapingcontractorslancasterpa.com. They are J. Evans Property Services, proud sponsors of the Tuesday video forecast so this video is not going to be as long as i normally have them because we usually have something going on and we really don't uh, we have this upper level low that is sitting offshore is a little bit further southeast today yesterday was up here uh, so it kind of drifted off to the south and east a little bit and that will continue to be the case over the next couple of days so today again we are mostly sunny across the entire region temperatures getting into the 70s for most of us in the interior however the spread here is 65 to 73 from east to west because we have the opportunity uh, to have cooler temperatures with that northeasterly wind flow still coming in off the ocean. Still a little bit breezy along the shore points, most notably. Interior, not so much. Uh, we will have a decrease, a steady decrease as this low pressure uh, upper level low continues off to the south. So uh, today is uh, going to be a little bit cooler at the shore points because of that onshore flow and marine flow. And it's going to be the same case here on uh, Wednesday as well. You see, both, as you can see above me, both days are mostly sunny. However, the upper end of the interior uh, temperatures are going to be a little bit higher here on Wednesday with 75 as a max temperature found across the region on Wednesday. So we're going to see a steady increase there. So we get to Thursday, I think, is going to be your peak. You're going to have uh, temperatures that are going to be uh, generally mid to maybe even upper 70s across uh, parts of the region here on Thursday. But we will go partly to mostly sunny here on Thursday instead of full mostly sunny. Not just a, just a semantics thing there. Uh, and then once we get to Friday, we're talking about partly to mostly cloudy skies. And this uh, upper level low is going to move across, uh, eventually move and retrograde westward into the southeastern United States and set up shop right here on Friday. Again, I can't roll out a stray shower in our southern zones here on Friday with this uh, the outer periphery of this upper level low now over land. Uh, but I think most of us are going to be dry again on Friday, just partly to mostly cloudy skies and still warm temperatures in the middle 70s. Uh, once we get to Saturday, however, is when things start getting a little bit complicated. This, uh, this upper level low that is, again, is going to be out here today is going to retrograde out here like this. And it's going to start, turn, start turning northward like this as we head into the weekend. And uh, there is the opportunity for Saturday to be a, uh, at least in the afternoon, scattered showers and thunderstorms as a result of that extra lift with that remnant upper level low still in the vicinity. Now, I don't want to scare anybody here thinking, oh God, here we go again. Uh, this is not the same situation. Okay, it's a, it's a much different uh, kind of system here at this point that's going to be moving over us a second time. Yes, it is the same one that moved through Friday and Saturday last week. However, uh, it's not going to have that cold core to it like it had uh, last week so we're not talking about temperatures in the upper 40s to 50 degrees and that's it uh like we had on uh friday and saturday okay it's not gonna be like that uh you're also not gonna have a lot of it's not really organized it's not really an organized surface low with it this is just the upper level low moving through so what that means to me is that you're gonna have the opportunity here on saturday late in the afternoon to get some scattered showers and perhaps thunderstorms popping up in, during the afternoon, taking advantage of the diurnal heating of the day. Uh, so this is going to be hard to look at this at uh, from a descriptive standpoint in, in terms of exact timing and what exactly we're dealing with until the short-range models come into play. Uh, right now, I can tell you the farthest the NAM runs, which is a mesoscale model, only runs to Friday morning right now at its max range. So we're still a couple days away before we can actually project saturday a little bit more accurately and that's just uh, that's the max range of that particular model so that might not even be might not even be for another three days before we figure out with any sense of accuracy what's going to happen for saturday i will tell you that the global models uh, tend to overdo precipitation typically at this range a little bit okay once we get closer and we start seeing what's going to happen it might not be as big of a deal as it looks right now because this is remember this is looking at a six hour 
uh, total precipitation over the previous six hours. So this is looking at uh, eight eight o'clock in the evening. As you can see, upper right-hand corner here, eight o'clock in the evening on Saturday. So this is taking everything that fell between two p.m. and eight p.m. Does that? And it's not a lot. So it tells me they're probably going to have very widely scattered uh, showers and or thunderstorms. But uh, you know, it's not going to be a a heavy dose of rainfall or a complete washout. That's what it's looking like right now. Then as this upper level low continues off to the north and east, here's a look at Sunday, Sunday afternoon, okay? Maybe an isolated thunderstorm here on Sunday, but I think of the two days, the two weekend days, Saturday is the worst of the two days, but I don't want to give you the impression that's going to be a washout. It's not, okay? It doesn't look like it's going to be right now. This off to our west here is a cold front in association with this area low pressure up here that's going to come through either overnight Sunday night or Monday, okay? I think it finally pushes through on Monday, but you could have some scattered showers and thunderstorms out ahead of this uh, coming through during the overnight hours on Sunday night. So Sunday doesn't look too bad right now. Partly sunny, isolated PM thunderstorms that we have listed in our local forecasts, and I think the better chances from a percentage standpoint or probability standpoint are going to be uh, on Saturday with that upper level low or whatever's left of it at that point moving back uh, to the northwest of our region and giving you some added lift and uh, you could have a couple showers there or a thunderstorm uh, so we're going to get into finer details as we get throughout the week i won't have the answers tomorrow yet either okay in the exact timing we might have to see what the global models are doing that would see where they're trending we could do that but as far as exact timing and what exactly to what extent we're dealing with these showers and thunderstorms on saturday we'll have better answered uh, in a couple days, okay? So just bear with us. It's going to be nice the next couple of days. Just enjoy the weather while you have it, and then we'll worry about the weekend once we get uh, in a couple of days from now, probably Thursday. Uh, we'll have a better uh, opportunity to uh, look at timing and what exactly we're dealing with, what extent of showers and storms we're dealing with. So this is the uh, cold front moving through again here on Sunday night. Might be a leftover early shower with this frontal boundary moving through on Monday morning, and then clouds give way to sun, becoming partly cloudy here later Monday. Still remaining mild, uh, through this entire period, we're going to be in the 70s this entire time. So there's no, again, just because you have the remnant upper, upper level low that's going to move whatever's left of it that was uh, affecting us last week is not going to be repeated that. It's going to be still temperatures in the 70s. Uh, so we're not dealing with any uh, cold temperatures or windy conditions or anything like that. Uh, and then uh, we will get the details for this weekend and how exactly it breaks down over the next couple of days. So please keep checking back throughout the week, and I'll give you the latest information as I get it. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for May 10th, 2022. Have a great Tuesday.